girls, it's Miss Beth and Ella. Good morning, girl. Did you come to listen to the great story that we're going to read to the kids today? Yes. Aw. Mm. All right. Today's great story is called What Happens Next? This is a flip the flap and find out kind of book by Nicola Davies, illustrated by Mark Boyvant, and the publisher is Candlewick Press. All right, so think, what is gonna happen next in these pictures? All right, here's a hungry chameleon. Here's a juicy grasshopper. What happens next? Hmm, what do you think might happen next? Well, let's see. The chameleon shoots out his long, long tongue and the sticky end catches the grasshopper. Thwap! Then he pulls in his tongue as if he's sucking spaghetti. Yum! All right. Here is a beaver who needs a home. Here is a pile of sticks and mud he has gathered. What happens next? So here's the beaver, here's the sticks and the mud that he's gathered. What do you think he was busy doing? Let's see. The beaver makes a hole under the sticks and mud to make a home. It's called a lodge. It has an underwater door so the beaver family can swim in Inside, it's dry, safe, and cozy. Hmm. All right, let's see. Here's a peacock who needs a mate. He wants to get the peahen to notice him. There's a peahen who's looking the other way. What happens next? What do you think this peacock is going to do to track the attention of the peahen? Well, let's see. The peacock opens his beautiful tail and shakes his feathers so they shimmer and shine. He opens his beak, screech! Now she's looking at him. Cool. Here's a honeybee who's found a beautiful patch of flowers. Here's a hive full of her relatives who don't know where it is. What happens next? What do you think this bee is going to do to let her relatives know that there's a beautiful patch of flowers? Let's see. The honeybee goes back to the hive and does a wiggly dance that tells the other bees where the flowers are. They fly straight to the flowers to collect sweet nectar for making into honey. Here are two chimps who want some food. Here's a mound full of tasty termites, but it's hard as a rock. What happens next? What can these chimpanzees do to get those tasty termites? Well, let's see. Mama Chimp pokes a twig through a tiny hole in the mound and the termites cling to it. She and her baby lick the termites off. Yum! So do you see the termites are now crawling up the sticks and they are food for the chimps. All right, we just talked about a bunch of different scenarios. Can you match the pictures to help you remember what happened? All right, so here's a picture of the beaver. Do you remember what the beaver did? That's right, he swam and he made a home for his family called a lodge. 
All right, do you remember what the chimpanzees did? That's right. They poked a stick in a rock to get the termites. Do you remember about the peacock? That's right, she, she, he fanned her feathers to attract the peahen. And the chameleon, what do you remember? That was the very first story we did. What did the chameleon do? <laughs> Stuck out its tongue and had the grasshopper as a snack. And the bee, do you remember? Shook a little dance so that the bees knew where to go to find the nectar. And what do you think this little girl is about to do? She is about to paint a beautiful, lovely picture. All right, that is the end of what happened next. Oh, I hope you learned a little bit, a little something on that story. I sure did. I wasn't quite sure about some of those. So I think it's good that we had a great story time today reading a great book. I am Miss Beth and Ella is down here at my feet. I hope you have an absolutely fantastical day and I cannot wait to see you next time.